Okay. Good day, we are back again to the same physics practicals but electricity question number three. Now, based on this, we are expected to determine the the resistance of a coil labeled R equals 1 ohm. R equals 1 ohm using potentiometer method. So if you look at this circuit diagram, you discover that PQ is a potentiometer wire. And here is it. This is a potentiometer. And that PQ is the wire on top of on top of it. So that this is PQ. Potentiometer has no positive and negative, irrespective of the two colors, they are the same. Any side can be used at any time. So this is potentiometer. And followed by the cell. This is the cell. This is the cell. We are directed to use 1.5, 1.5, which is 3 volts. So we are using, in observation, we are using 1.5, 1.5, E as 3.00 volts. Because there are two cells involved. 1.5, 1.5. And after that, the cell is connected to the key. This is the key. It's connected directly to the key. Connected directly to the key. This key is closed already. During connection, we don't close the key. From the key or the switch, it is connected to the 1 ohm resistor. 1 ohm resistor. Which is in parallel to the voltmeter. Because voltmeter must always be in parallel. In connections of the circuit of electricity. So this is parallel to the 1 ohm. Parallel to 1 ohm. Now from the parallel connection, we connected the real start. This is the real start as mentioned. This is the real start. This is the real start. ROH is the real start. From the real start, we now connected the ammeter. This is the ammeter, 0 to 1.0 ampere. And from the ammeter to the jockey. From the ammeter to the jockey. Now, looking at the hole, it said you are provided with a key. Okay. Resistance are voltmeter and ammeter. That's in summary. Connect, connecting with a potentiometer wire PQ and the, the jockey J. This is the jockey. This is the jockey J. The jockey is used to determine the balance point of electricity at any point on the bay wire. This bay wire has what is called, is, uh, is of SWG, that is standard wire gauge. Standard wire gauge. So we're using a standard wire gauge of 24 for this wire now. So that we can be able to determine exactly the amount of current passing through this and the PD across every given point. That's why we used SWG wire of 24, which is very tiny, very tiny across the two points. So that's exactly. So with this now, the exam now said, that's the question, sorry, now said, record the voltmeter reading VO and ammeter reading IO. How do we record IO? When this jockey is not in contact with anything. 
Hence, the jockey is not in contact with anything. If we close the key, we record IO and VO. IO and VO. IO and VO. So, recording the IO and VO of the two from here. From here, this is 0 0.05. 0 0.05 so io equals 0 0.05 ampere vo equals 0 0.01 volt these are the two recorded and the question now then i said then connect the jockey as shown with pj 30 cm 30 cm that's from the point p p j which is the l 30 centimeters so we now build the table we represent the table here this is l which is equivalent to pj in cm then after that we're asked to obtain the current i in ampere v in volt v in volt current i and v for each of the l so we want to see the next position it's a tablet you are reading so there's no evaluation in this case so we only have l i and v in the whole so from here the first l is 30.00 Followed by what? 40. Followed by 40. 40.00, 50.00, 60.00, 70.00. Now, so we're now asked to obtain the value of i and v for 30 so we move the jockey to 30 from the left not from the right 30 from the left not from the right sorry the the length of the wire is not too long so we'll locate 30 place it at 30 this is 30 exactly 30 close the key and take our reading the ammeter reads 0 0.20 while the voltmeter reads 0 0.10 ammeter reads 0 0.20 0 0.20 0 0.10 that's for 30 we now move to 40 we move to 40 for the 40 ammeter reads 0 0.25 and the voltmeter reads 0. Point, hey. The voltmeter reads okay 0 0.15 0 0.25 0 0.15 this is this is exactly the range that you discover that the the more hands you place to any given number you obtain your value directly next one should be next one should be 50 now you take the reading directly you take the readings directly from the graduation to avoid error due to parallax so next is 50 next is 50 
fifty zero point three zero point three zero zero point three zero and zero point two zero so this the nature of electrical so looking at the whole thing this is series series con combination the exam may provide a parallel combination at another given point that is there uh, with this combination v may be across directly that is in the exam v may be connected across across this directly instead of just across the resistor this v may be placed across here v so if v is placed across here it means that the pd is now across the whole potentiometer meaning that v will be removed this point and when the v is removed here and placed across then this will be the inverse instead of increasing each one will decrease there will be decrease in the readings the two readings there will be decrease so as long as v is placed across across the hole directly there will be there will be decrease so this is exactly the connection this is the nature of the connection so this is series connection this can also be changed we can place this v across the voltmeter directly so that the pd will be across the the ends of the potential of the potentiometer then the reading automatically will change in that order but for the series connection this is exactly how it's supposed to be based on the quality of the ammeter and voltmeter provided so this is what is expected in question three now we also know that question two is a rectangular glass prism so i'm going to display in five minutes the prism and if and maybe few diagrams in combination to play mirror so i want to call over here so that in five minutes i can display that of the prism <laughs>